What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Subscriber Sunday. Now I'm sorry there hasn't been a Subscriber Sunday in two weeks now, but we are back and we have a bunch of questions from you guys. So thank you so much for sending them in guys, all your messages, your pictures and your questions on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff you send it on. It's really, really awesome. So thank you so much for sending that in. So guys, let's start off with this week's fan art. Now this week's fan art comes from KC and they sent me this on Instagram and it is a picture of my face, my Minecraft face, it has my Minecraft glasses on and they have done a really really awesome job with this. Thank you so much KC for sending it in and sending it to me on Instagram. Guys, if you want to send in fan art you can send it to me on Twitter, you can send it to me on Snapchat or Instagram. Whatever you have, you can send it to me on any one of them platforms. My name is big 87 x on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Snapchat. It's it's called It's Big 87 x ITS Big 87 x So send it to me on any of them if you want to send in some fan art. But thank you so much, Casey, for sending that in. Right, guys, so let's move on to the questions. Now, the first question this week comes from Fancy Real on YouTube, and they ask for Subscriber Sunday. I was wondering, have you ever felt really lucky for having 200,000 subscribers? I know this is a small thing compared to other YouTubers, but have you ever said like, wow, I have 200K people in the world sub to me? Thank you for the question, Fancy Real. And the answer to that is all the time. I think that all the time is absolutely unreal. Like even when I hit 100,000 subscribers, that is unreal. Like the way I compare it, I'm a big football slash soccer fan, right? And then you have a football stadium with all the people that are in that stadium. Usually the people in that stadium are like between 30 to like 60,000 people. And that is a lot of people. But to think that I have 200,000 people that have clicked that button is insane it is absolutely insane so even though it's not compared to some of the bigger youtubers out there who have like millions and millions and millions 200,000 people is a lot of people and I think any youtuber who hits 200,000 people um, are really appreciative of it and it's, it's honestly such a huge number and such a great milestone to hit I just got to thank all you guys for supporting me for all this time and sticking with me all the people that I've got so many subscribers that have stuck with me from like when I had 30,000 subscribers and that's what's truly amazing to me like I love that part of YouTube and uh yeah all the time is the answer to your question I I think that all the time 200,000 people is honestly amazing it really is and the next question comes from Coco the Go Go 2 on YouTube and they ask hi bigs please put this in sub Sunday if you were to stay in one country forever and not go anywhere where would you stay and number two if you could do one thing that is life-changing what would you do all right so number one I'm going to give you quite a boring answer for this one I would probably stay where I live and that is England I'd probably stay in England because that's the easiest option because I know how everything works I know where everything is I've lived here my whole life like I'm just used to it here so that's probably the country that I would stay in if I had to choose one to stay in and number two if I could do one thing that was life-changing now I would probably time travel that would probably be what I'd do because I think that could be so life changing like in many ways because you could go to the future, you could go to the past, you could change something, it could be good or bad, I don't know. I think that would be the one thing that I would do that would be life changing. But thank you so much for your question Coco. So the next question comes from Madison on Snapchat and they ask, Hey Ricky, I have a few questions for Sub Sunday. Would you rather travel by car or plane when going on vacation? And what is your favorite ice cream flavor? And if you also had a free 20 minute shopping spree in a local store, what aisle would you go to first? Maddie. So thank you so much, Maddie, for sending in your questions. So number one was, would I tra rather travel by car or plane? And now I get very travel sick in a car like I don't know why unless I'm driving I get really travel sick so when I'm in a car I can't look at my phone I can't read a book or anything like that because I get travel sick so I would probably have to say a plane because it's just cooler isn't it like when you go on vacation on a plane than when you go in a car you usually go into a cooler location you know when you travel by plane you're going to a better place than you are in a car so i would say plane of my favorite ice cream flavor is cho mint chocolate chip 
And if I had 20 minutes free in the store, where would I go? The, I would go to the tech aisle where they sell the electronics. That is the place I go all the time. Ask as I. So I, you can't get me out of them areas. I always look at them. Even when we go to like the pound shop or the dollar store in England or America, I always go to that aisle straight away. Even to look at the cheap little gadgets. I just can't help myself. I love any kind of like tech, electronics and stuff like that. Thank you so much for your question, Maddie. So the next question comes from Money Boss on Snapchat and they ask, congratulations on the engagement with Zai. Now here are my questions. What is your most embarrassing story? Number two, when is the day of the wedding? And number three, have you ever gotten hurt or been sent to the hospital? So number one, I've actually answered this question before in another Sub Sunday. So I'll just give you a little quick summary of what my most embarrassing story is. So when I was younger, I used to have a problem with pee in the bed and I went to my cousin's house and I peed his bed. <laughs> that was my most embarrassing story ever. I have put that in another sub Sunday. So um, go watch that one. I can explain it all in full detail. Number two, when is the day of the wedding? Okay, guys. So if you didn't know, me and Zai are now engaged. It'll probably be the title of the video and stuff like that. We are now engaged. It was absolutely crazy. Um, go and check out the video on Zai's channel. And we have a vlog of the day that I proposed on the Ricky and Zai channel. The Ricky and Zai link will be in the description. So go over there. It's the last video that we had up if you want to go see the day of the proposal. So yeah, me and Zai are now engaged. I did put a ring on it like loads of you have been asking me to. But when is the, when is the day of the wedding? Honestly, guys, we have no date at right now. There is no date. But when we do have a date, we will tell you, I promise. But as of right now, like we've only been engaged like what? It's one month in two days. So in two days time, it'll be one month. Um, so no, we don't have a date just yet. Uh, have you ever gotten hurt or been sent to the hospital? Many times, many times. I've split my head open like so many times when I was a kid. I have scars all over my head, like little scars uh, where I've cut my head open and stuff like that. I have... I've been sent, I, I ran into a tree and knocked myself out. I've been sent to the hospital so many times. There's like, it's countless amount of times. Thank you so much for sending in your question though, Money Boss. Right guys, so let's move on to the Snapchats. So the first Snapchat comes from Ryan and he sent in a question saying, what is your biggest goal in life? Now, I think my biggest goal in life would probably just to be happy, I guess. That, that, it's weird and cheesy to say, I know that. But when I say that, what I think to myself is kind of like, I, I got a picture in my head of what I want. Like I want my house, I want it to look nice and I want a family, stuff like that. I think that is my biggest goal I wouldn't say I wouldn't say things like I want to be a millionaire I want to have a million subscribers on YouTube nothing like that I think my biggest goal is to just have the life that I've always pictured you know where you got your house and it's nice and stuff like that I think that is my biggest goal in life I think that is it that's what I what that's what I strive to achieve and you you have to do other things like do well in your work do well in the school do well in your jobs to eventually achieve that goal so yeah that is my biggest goal in life the next Snapchat comes from, oh my God, it's Jeannie. And they ask, hey, Ricky, do you think that when you and Zai officially get married, are you guys going to live in England or America? Now, I think we'll probably live in England. I'm not 100% sure. It just it depends on how everything works out because it's not easy, guys. Like we've never really spoke about this on YouTube videos or anything like that, but the truth is it's not 100% easy it's not easy for me to just say you know what I want to go live in America or it's not easy for Zai to say I want to go live in England there's like paperwork there's requirements that you need to meet it's a very very long and complicated process whatever one we can do easiest that is probably what we do but I think if we both had to choose an ideal place I think it would probably be England that we would both want to live but we just have to see what happens the next Snapchat comes from KF Denny and she asks, hi Biggs, do you have any tips for a class presentation like how to do well in them? Love your video so much and I'm so happy that you finally put a ring on Zai Stinger. Thank you so much for sending in your Snapchat and do I have any tips for class presentations? Honestly, 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 I was so nervous when I did class presentations like they were they were one of the most horrible things to do. I never liked speaking in front of class. But one thing that I always found with it is that it's uh, it's not as bad as what you think it is. This is not really a tip. I'm just telling you what used to go through my head because I honestly don't have any tips for this. But what I used to always find out is that thinking about it too much 
what is always a bad thing and you, you're going to be nervous no matter what so the best thing to do is just get up there and then once you get started everything will be okay after that it will just you just go with the flow that's the best i can say because class presentations were not my best thing <laughs> hey ricky thank you for answering all my questions and the question for this stuff sunday is right here and my name is pronounced eliza if you're wondering give me a shout out diamond creeper 101 Hi Eliza, thank you so much for sending in your Snapchat. Shout out to Diamond Creeper 101. But how often do I go shopping? Well, me and Zai, we go shopping a lot. We really do. We go shopping a lot. Like when when we're together, we probably go shopping on average maybe once or twice a week. Like we'll go to a mall or a shopping center. We don't always buy stuff, but we just go to look around sometimes. But thank you so much for sending in your Snapchat. How long have you wanted to marry Zai for? Hi, Ree. Thank you so much for sending in your Snapchat. You really put me on the spot. How long did I want to marry Zai for? Uh, but if I don't say forever, Zai's going to kill me. But I would be honest with you guys. I I was a person that never really pictured myself getting married. I don't know what it was. I never really pictured myself getting married. I pictured myself like having a family and stuff. like that. I just never really pictured marriage. Um, but they say sometimes when you meet the right person, that's when you start thinking about it. And that's kind of what happened with Zai. Like I used to tell Zai when I first got with her I was like I, I never really pictured myself getting married but as time went on and things went the well as the way they were it's just it just felt right and it's just something that I wanted uh, I never wanted it before but then when I got with I I wanted it so and I guess that's the best way to describe it I can't really put a date on it it just happened eventually during the time that we were together I, th- I, I feel like that was a bad answer but that's the best answer I could give Thanks. What um do you use for recording? Like what mic and stuff? What kind of what can you? Use? Hi Tara, thank you so much for sending in your Snapchat. Now I've used a ton of mics over my YouTube career. I guess you want to call it. Now the first mic I ever used for YouTube was a Blue Yeti. That's quite expensive. It's around a hundred pound slash a hundred dollars around that area. Um, but that's a really good mic for starting out on YouTube. I know a lot of YouTubers use that and a lot of YouTubers, even with like a million subscribers, still use that microphone today. So that's a good microphone. That is called the Blue Yeti. Right now, I use a microphone called the Blue Spark. Um, it's a really good microphone. Again, it's by the same company. It's a lot more expensive than the Blue Yeti. It's a XLR mic. It's a little bit more fancy, but if you want a mic that just plugs straight into your computer, um, I, the Blue Yeti is good. But if you want a cheaper version than that, because I have this mic as well, it's my backup mic. If anything goes wrong with this mic or I go traveling, I use a mic called a Blue Snowball. Now the Blue Snowball surprised me. The Blue Snowball is the cheapest mic out of all three of the mics that I just mentioned. And it is so, so good. It is crazy how good it is. Now, I recommend if you're starting out YouTube and you don't have a lot of money to spend or anything like that, or you don't want to spend a lot of money on a microphone, the Blue Snowball is a good microphone to start off with. It's like £50 or like $50 or $60, something like that. And it's a really good mic. It's USB, you just plug it into your PC and then it works. So they're the three microphones that I have used during my YouTube career. A Blue Yeti, a Blue Snowball and a Blue Spark. The Snowball is the cheapest, the Yeti is the middle and the Spark is the most expensive. So there are the microphones that I have used. But there we go guys, that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much to, for all the congratulations messages that everybody sent in this week. Um, I couldn't really put them all into to the the sub sunday this week guys because there are about questions and stuff but so many of you sent congratulations into me and i just want to say a big shout out to everybody who did to say congratulations to me and zai for getting engaged so i really really do appreciate it guys and i'm really happy to see that you guys are happy that we got engaged so thank you so much for that but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another episode of subscriber sunday